I love it. Huh? I said, I love it. The half look on your head, the British Knights. And do you know what really got me? It was the haircut. Yeah, not fuck the shoes, it was the haircut. <laughs> Winter is so cold sometimes. You don't want to go outside. It seems like there's so many excuses that come to you. But I must tell you, this is the best time of year for pickup. You may not believe me. The reason why is because spring is summer, it's on its way. And if you just stay consistent at this part of the year, moving into summer and spring, you will feel an energy that you've never felt before. You will feel a uh, strength internally that the winter gave you because you had to deal with so much in this period, so many conditions that were out of your control that when the weather breaks, you finally reap the rewards. Before I talk to this girl that you are gonna see me talk to, I just wanna give you briefly my track of success from season to season. The first one I'm gonna start with is spring. Springtime for me bought new beginnings. That was this feeling of freshness. Getting a break from the harsh weather. Dealing with better reactions from women. having the chance to have more dates and more sex with the women that I want. Then spring, of course, led into summer. Summer for me was an explosion of excitement. An explosion of feeling like I just want to just run wild and I want to do everything. I want to go out in the day. I want to go out in the night and I just want to continue and I want to continue. Every chance that I get, I'm going to talk to a girl. Regular lovers all the time. Switching between lovers. Having girls walk away from me, having me walk away from girls. This was a very chaotic, and crazy period. Then that period would move into autumn. Autumn being a period where you come off this high that you had. This wild, ambitious energy that you have. You come off of that and you go more into this soothing, kind of low pace. Okay, times are getting more real now. It's not like this wild, just go crazy type of thing. Now it's like getting more real now. I can go up to girls and talk to them. They're going about their normal life. They're in their normal states now. Back then, like in the summer or in the spring, they're like getting amped up and they're aroused and they're ready to go. But now this is the time where they're settling down. So my success would fade a little bit because I was operating from that same energy and I had to shift. And the holidays were coming and everything, so it was a transition I had to make. Of course I was still getting success. I still had some lovers from the summer and I was still acquiring some new ones in the fall, but it was less wild. Then that period moved into the period that everybody tries to get away from and pick up. And that's winter. Winter for me brought the most harsh thoughts, the most harsh conditions as far as the way I feel, and also the most harsh reactions from women. And I hated this period. I hated it so much. I hated it so much. 
but it taught me so much. It taught me that it was the winter time, because I was willing to consist, it was the winter time that was preparing me for the spring, the summer, and the fall. It was the strength that I was able to acquire over the winter. It was the times where a girl was harsh to me because of the way she felt. Because she was feeling cold and then she's like, I don't want to talk and she's feeling like that. Or the times where I had so many internal excuses like, oh, I don't want to do this. Fuck, I don't feel like going out, it's so cold. Like it's even colder today than it was yesterday. And it's getting more cold and I got to go out. Because I had to deal with all that, I only then realized that the most, the most treasured time for me, and for you if you live in winter, is the winter time, because it prepares you. This is a time where most guys lay off. They're not going out every day in the winter. They're going out and they're, whenever they can, maybe they're with their friends, or maybe they go to the mall every now and then, or they go to a, a location where there's women every now and then. But they're not staying consistent every single day. They're not building the necessary pattern for this, to make this enjoyable, to make this easy. And that's the opportunity you have. The opportunity is to be amongst the very small percentage of men, like the very fucking small percentage of men who will continue this through the harsh period of the year. I love it. Huh? I said, I love it. The half look on your head, the British Knights. It looks just like us. Um, I used to wear true religion shoes. It looked just like that. You saw what? True religion. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I used to have true religion shoes, and it looked just like those. So I was like, I seen you walk past, and do you know what really got me? It was the haircut. Yeah, not fuck the shoes, it was the haircut. <laughs> but the, the shoes are actually pretty cheap. Nothing special. <laughs> yeah, I'm Anthony. Where are you from? Chicago. Chicago. USA. Huh? USA. USA, yes. <laughs> so you have some clear language. I like to hear clear language. <laughs> Do you want to learn how to speak English? Um, you know, just in common. It's just, yeah. And just, I, I like to listen uh, while natives speak. You like to listen to? Natives. Oh, yeah. Natives. natives. I, th I thought you were saying nature. Uh, what do you do in your life? You seem very good. Like your energy seems very clean. Mm. What do you do? Mm. Just uh, working on myself mostly. <laughs> no, I, I don't have a job now. So just uh, making some stuff in my head and some bricks and mm -hmm. different things. That's all. And uh, I like to go in. <laughs> uh, clothing shops <laughs> also. <laughs> you like shopping? No, I like to go to the shops and uh, I shop not so often. You just like to go to the shops and look? Where do you wish you can shop? Like if you could choose any store, where would you go shop? Garrett View, <laughs> of course. Hmm? Garrett View, <laughs> do you know? No, you said Girl View? Yeah. Garrett View, I don't know. Garrett View? Yeah. Garrett P Pew. Pew? No, I don't know this. It's, uh, it's just, uh, you, you, said, you said that like any, any shop, but no, it's like su super, super, super expensive stuff. And uh, the, I think there is no Garrett View, so. <laughs> Did you just say maybe it's not so cool? Yeah, sometimes because they always make some super cool photos and you look and be like, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but when you see them laughing, it's not always as cool as... Oh, yeah, of course. That's the same thing about um, America. Like, America looks to everybody like this amazing, amazing place. <laughs> uh -huh. But when you go there, yeah, it's beautiful, but it's not so, like, 
Oh, wow. <laughs> do you think about America like that? You don't like America, do you? Mm. No, I just don't care about America, but I don't think about it. Oh, America. <laughs> no, I don't think about that. Mm. You also have a lot of homeless and also a lot of social problems. So. I, mean, I think in many ways it's like pretty common with the Russian. And with Russian? Mm. Are you Russian? Mm. Oh, you are. So, do you live there? Or you just drove? Do I live here? Yeah. Yeah, I live here. I used to live in America, but I'm more of a European soul. Mm -hmm. So when I come back here, I always feel like a home feeling. Really? Here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me also. Uh, I like this place more than any Russian since the time. I've never been to Russia. What is Russia like? It's uh, similar actually to Budapest, at least uh, I live in St. Petersburg, so mm -hmm. uh, it's bigger so, and there's more people and people are more serious and uh, here's people more relaxed and uh, but in Russia people like, it's a bit dense most. And no one smiles you ever. <laughs> You don't belong in Russia. You smile a lot. Hmm? Say, so you smile mm -hmm. a lot. You don't belong in Russia. You came to the right place. Yeah, I feel like that, actually. Yeah. And where are you going right now? Mm, uh, there uh, was some salad shop, and I wanted to buy some salad. Is it uh, Frucola? Maybe, I don't know. Uh, Is it there and to the left? Well, okay, um, I, no, I've enjoyed talking to you and okay. I want to keep walking and talking with you. Ah, okay. And I'm hungry as well. Hmm? I'm hungry as well. Ah, okay, let's so go. So we can go eat sandwich. together. Okay. But, uh, you know, I... There's about three cons for the winter time. The first one is lack of choice. When you have a lack of choice and you're in this, you really don't feel motivated to go outside. The reason is that you know in between, there's a lot of time. One of the things I hated so much going out, when I used to go out in winter, of course now it's still winter, but when I was going out in winter in the beginning was seeing a girl waiting 10 minutes to see another girl or waiting even 30 or 40 minutes to see another one. Because I don't know what kind of city you're, you're in. Maybe you're in New York City where you don't do that and there's girls everywhere. Maybe you're in a city like Budapest where you can go to the places that's congregated like that. But most cities around the world and most of you watching this, you're probably in a city or not somewhere where there is enough choice. And this is one of my biggest frustrations. I mean, if I go out today, maybe I'll see a few girls that I like, but is that really worth it for an hour of time? I'm gonna go out today for two hours of time and I've only talked to four girls in a whole two hours and I feel like, fuck, I wanted to have more choice because maybe all four girls had a boyfriend. And if all four of them had a boyfriend, that it leaves me with really no shot. And then I would feel for the next time that, which is the next day, because I'm going to every single day, I don't want to put in so much effort. I don't want to go out into the cold where I just hate it. I don't want to do that and not have enough women. Then I start trying to become creative. I was like, okay, you know, what if I just talk to the amount of women I can right here, but then I move to another spot of the city. And then I will go to another part of the city and I, maybe I will find one girl over there or maybe I'll find two girls. 
And then I would get frustrated again because all that time, the commuting and looking for girls in the other spot, it just wear down on me. And I was like, fuck, man, I'm out here and I'm going and I'm going and I'm going, but I'm not really getting a lot of return. This is one of the downsides, honestly, of winter. It is. I'm not going to sit here and say that winter doesn't have downsides. It absolutely does. But with the lack of choice, it taught me something. It taught me how to operate and gain momentum and keep the momentum when there's not a girl for me to do that with. Because sometimes in winter you try to go from, I mean sometimes, yeah, in winter you try to go from girl to girl to girl to girl, and you try to gain this momentum where you feel like, fuck, I'm just in this flow state. Because that was the place I was operating from. I was like, oh, you know what? I want flow. And then I would go up to one girl, and I would go to the next one, and I would just start feeling it rolling. And then I would be like, fuck, there's not a girl for the next 20 minutes. Do I just go speak to somebody else? Do I just go chat this girl up who I don't want to talk to? It had to teach me that in those periods, there was a lot of time there, it taught me how to continue with that. And this is where guys die off. Because in the summer, they are so used to momentum. They're so used to it. Because the summer, they're going out every single day, and momentum is with them. They're rolling, they're rolling, they're rolling, they're rolling. And then as autumn hits, they may even notice that they're still with it. But when it gets colder and colder, it starts to die off. And they're like, how do I continue the same momentum in the summer like right now? And what they don't understand is that a lot of the momentum was gained from the fact that they was going from girl to girl to girl to girl. But they never taught themselves how to stay in a good place when they're not with the girl. They're so dependent upon going from each girl to each girl that they're even willing sometimes in the winter to talk to girls they don't want to talk to, just so they can keep moving and going. And I thought that was the way. I was like, I need to continue on, and if I stop, that means that I'm going to lose all of this. And those of you who know how good flow state feel, you don't want to lose the flow when you have it. So it taught me to not be dependent upon the flow. It taught me that when I have this lack of choice, I can learn to be in this emptiness, these times of emptiness, and be okay with that. I don't have to always keep the energy flowing in that time. <clears throat> I can keep that energy at a searing level because I'm aware. Because I'm aware that right now, there's not a lot of girls. So I don't need to be in a rush. I don't need to be frustrated. The simple truth is that there's not a lot of choice. That relaxation, that acceptance will give you a chance to just stay with that searing level of flow. You never lose, so to speak, your state. You remain with that. It's just in the times of emptiness, you're also empty on the inside. You're not frantically looking at it and like, oh my God, okay, well, I'm going to get the next girl. No, you're not doing that. It taught me that in the emptiness that I must be empty as well. When there's a time of engagement, I can engage. But in the time of emptiness, I can just relax. I don't need to become frustrated. This is something that fall, summer, or spring will never teach you. Simply because the momentum is all, you can roll with momentum. You can. There's a lot of choice around. So you don't have to worry about being aware that there's not enough choice. Because you usually move to areas where it is, or even if you're in a, a place where there's not a girls coming out a lot, in the summer they come out more. This is something I noticed in my hometown, Madison, Wisconsin, that I was going out all the time in the summer, in the spring, in the fall, and I was just going, 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 and I just was loving it. But the moment winter rolled around, there was times where I would walk out into the street and I'd be like, fuck, there's nobody out here. Or it would be like spurs of women. And I would get into like, fuck, I wish I was in another city. I wish I could, I, mean, I should just go to Chicago. And I would start to get down about it. But then an enjoyment started to come to me. A fulfillingness started to come to me when I started to just let go of having to 
talk to somebody in the empty periods. So yes, there is a lack of choice. This is one of the cons. But the way that it's not a con is that you understand and it teaches you that you can't be dependent on women for your own state. You can't. You can't be dependent upon something outside of yourself giving you the feeling of wanting to do something. You can be totally dependent on yourself. The second thing about winter that makes it very difficult and people hate it, and I used to hate it, was the cold itself. You may not know this, but one of the reasons why you're probably not becoming good with women is because you are conditional. You're only women willing to talk to women when the environment is right for you. You need it for it to be warm. You need for it to be comfortable. And that itself tells me and also tells you that Oh, shit. That's an underlying issue. That's not just, it's cold and I don't want to talk to women. No, that's you being someone who makes excuses when it's not right, when it's not perfect. You are someone who makes excuses when things are not perfect. I was feeling like, okay, I want to go talk to women right now, but it's really fucking cold. And those of you who know Wisconsin winters, these fuckers are really, really cold. Or the Midwest winters are really cold. I lived in Minnesota at some point. I lived in Wisconsin and Chicago. And I know the fucking cold. I really do. And some of you probably live in Russia or somewhere else in Europe where it get really cold. But this shit is really cold. So... I would go, I don't want to go out simply because it's so fucking cold. That's it. I know that if I go outside, I will freeze. There's a part on my finger that's really sensitive to uh, the cold. It's sensitive to touch. If I touch it like this too hard, it'll start hurting. When I was younger, I slammed it in a door, so now it's just sensitive. So that's one of the things that was coming to me like, fuck, if I go outside and I stay out there too long, I know that this will start hurting and it takes like five or 10 minutes for this fucking thing to just stop hurting. I was dealing with that. And I was also dealing with the fact of, I, I don't like when my feet get cold. Oh, of course, one of the things you know when you go outside is that your feet get really fucking cold and your, your feet feel numb and it start to hurt. All these bodily things start happening in relation to the cold itself. And what it taught me though, is that when it's not comfortable, conditionally continue. Because this is the way I'm gonna be able to teach myself that when it's not perfect, continue. Continue when it's not perfect. You may notice that you're someone who makes excuses when it's not perfect. Oh, she's on the phone. She's walking too fast. Maybe her friend don't think I'm weird. Excuse, excuse, excuse. It's too cold. I'll just wait until tomorrow. The weather will get better in like a week. I'll just wait until next week. You are someone who is prone to excuses. And you make yourself conditional. And this is why some guys, they just don't, in the winter, they don't talk to girls as much because they've made themselves conditional. They went. When it's warm, I'll just do it all. I will, or I'll do it. But when it's cold, that gives me the reason to just do other things like focus on my health or focus on reading or focus on this. Rationalizations, because they just don't want to face the fact that it's cold outside. The cold is an issue. If you don't think it is, then you don't know winter. But if you're someone who is in pickup, and you have winter right now, you're in a place where there's winter, you know what I'm talking about. You know the feeling of, I want to go do this, but fuck, it's just, whew, I got to get, I got to fucking bundle up. I don't want to face these harsh conditions. Let it teach you 
something that most guys, it will never teach. It will teach you that when there is conditions that, are, that feels like that are against you, you can overcome it and still get what you want or go for what you want. That valuable thing is what I still carry today. I was going out every single day in the winter. I remember times where I would go out and I'll be in the winter, and I'm talking about Wisconsin winter. I'll be talking to girls, and then I would get so cold that I would walk inside of a Starbucks or a coffee shop, and I would just warm up for like five minutes, and then go right back outside. Because I told myself that I'm gonna do it for an hour and a half, and I don't stop until the hour and a half mark. Or if you, as you guys can see, some of my old videos, uh, even from last winter, I'll be talking to a girl, and you'll see me doing as I'm doing this, I'm really fucking cold. I am. And me being someone who, ha who doesn't have a lot of body fat, I get cold really fucking easy. And I don't eat a lot in the day. So right now, I haven't eaten, I haven't eaten anything today. Well, I have one egg, like one little boiled egg, but that's really not, not anything. Imagine if I stopped, though. While I'm doing these videos, imagine if I stopped. Imagine I was like, you know what? I'm only going to do the, the bulk of my videos in the summer, but during the winter time, I'll just... You know, I'll just cool off a little bit. And you guys didn't see me put out a lot of videos over the last three months before I entered Europe simply because I didn't have a cameraman and I was doing everything on my own. That's why. But now that I'm here, it is still fucking cold. It is. And it's getting colder. This is February. It's going to get colder. And you'll continuously see me put out four videos or five videos in a week. And you'll see me still talking to girls because I never made myself conditional. Never. It taught me not to let the outside influence me so much that I don't want to do what I want to do. Let it teach you. The way it taught me. And the third reason why winter sucks is the reactions you get from women. The way a woman feels will impact the way that she responds to you. If she is really fucking cold, most of the time she won't respond to you well. It'll be like, no, I don't, I, I just want to get to the warm because she's so flowing with, okay, this is how I feel. I don't want to do anything but get to the warm. She's so flowing with that that she's not willing to stop most of the times or she's not willing to interact with you. Yeah, there's girls who are willing to interact. Of course there is. But if you look at the reactions from what women give you in the summer as opposed to what they give you in the winter, there is a drastic difference. Look at a woman when the sun is beaming down on her and she's feeling good and she's dressed sexy and she's just walking out into the fucking street. When she's like that and you go say hello to her, she's already feeling good because of the weather, the way it is making her feel. She'll respond to you well simply because the weather is good. But when the weather is bad, many of the times she won't feel in this graceful fucking sexy state. She won't feel in that. She'll feel like this, closed down and like, like I want to get the, to the warm place. And when she's closed down her energy like that, she's not radiant. She's not open like, like she is in the summer or the spring or even moving into the fall. So I had to learn in this period where women responses are much different than in the summer to be okay with the harsh responses that come time, that come sometimes. You can, get, you can get so used to beautiful women responding so well to you. You can get so used to going after women and you see them and you look at them and they're smiling and they're walking through. You can get so used to that that that's all you want to see in the winter as well. And then you go up to a woman and you say hello and then she's like, and she gives you this response. And you're like, hi, and you're like, where are you, where are you off to? And she's like, I'm just trying to get home because it's so cold out here. 
she's not even focused on you. She can't give you her full attention because something is distracting her. For a woman, it's a real distraction. For a man, we can learn like, okay, if I feel cold, I don't have to let it bother the way that I feel. But most women being unconscious, they're not gonna go through life like that. They're just gonna go, I feel like this and I'm gonna do this. A really balanced woman will have to walk through life and understand this. But most of the time, is she not gonna be balanced? She's not. She's just gonna be flowing with what she feels. So if she feels like I'm cold and I don't wanna speak to anybody, you're gonna call them up and say, hey, hello, like this. And she might only give you a bad response because she feels bad, like she feels cold. That will have a lot to do with how she's feeling. This is why sometimes in the winter when a guy wants to go get a girl on a date, she may say, oh, I want to go on a date with him, but I'm just, I'm so, I just feel so warm in my bed. She literally would choose her bed sometime over going on a date. My friend did this. She's like, you know what? I would go on a date with him, but it's just, I just feel so warm right here. I don't feel like getting up and putting on my clothes and doing it. That's literally what she was saying to me. And some guys are like, oh, she doesn't want to go on a date with me. I'm like, no, it's just the way she's feeling. Simply. She's just don't like the cold. She loves feeling comfortable. If there's one thing that a woman loves to feel, like, like her body, she loves to feel relaxed and comfortable. A feminine woman loves to feel that because it's so close to the heart, that comfortableness, that relaxedness. It's so close to what she feels to be home. She's probably never learned that the conditions doesn't have to control the way you feel. She's probably never learned that. I had to come to this truth that just in the winter, many of the times, I'm just not gonna get the responses I was getting in the summer. And I'm okay with that. Before I wasn't, I'm like, why did they respond like this? Like, I, I, I was used to them being so open, but it started to feel like they weren't. That they had other things. And of course, in the winter, you have family that now becomes important. You have your regular life that becomes important. And it's all this mixed in with the fact that it doesn't feel good outside. And it feels gloomy. And when it feels gloomy outside, that impacts a woman very strongly. So let me tell you this. If you want to become someone who's totally fine with any woman's reaction, Talk to women in the winter. If you are not talking to women right now in this winter time, you are missing out on something that's going to be incredibly valuable for when spring and summer comes. Because I was so used to dealing with the reactions that women were giving me from the winter and always dealing with it throughout the year, I never stopped. I always dealt with every season and how the woman felt. I always dealt with it. In the summer, yes, sometimes they give you reactions that are like, fuck, well, where did that come from? And the winter, they give you that as well. But because I was willing to have all these things against me, the fact that it was a lack of choice, the fact that it was cold outside, and the fact that women, some of the women were giving me harsh reactions, when summer, spring and summer was coming, it was an energy that came over me like no other. This is what all this is leading to, is that winter, the harshness of winter, prepares you for summer. You get a strength, you get energy, you get excitement for what's to come. And you will be much stronger and much more ready than the guys who took the winter off. So Tony Soto leaves you with this message. Just stay consistent. No matter what time of year it is, stay consistent. But this was specifically about winter. If you stay consistent during the winter, you will be more than prepared for the spring and summer. You won't have any excuses with anything that comes up for spring or summer, or fall. Because you went through the hardest period of the year. 
I don't care about winter anymore. It's just me, the natural part of life. But maybe when you're starting out, you don't feel like it is. You feel like this is something that is, that's against me and it's, it's stopping me from meeting women. It is developing something inside of yourself that is invaluable as a man. And that's no matter what's happening, continue. If you feel scared, if you feel nervous, if you feel like I don't want to do this, continue. This is what is building in you as a man. Just stay consistent. And watch what happens when spring comes around. What I mean by stay consistent is go out every single day in the winter time. Endure the harshness of it. Persist through it. Because when spring and summer roll around, you will have something that most guys, but most guys don't have. I'm sorry that I couldn't record this video outside. I wanted to. So you can see how harsh it is right now outside. Uh, I guess you got to see a little bit of it at the beginning of the video. I'm in the mall. It's crazy. I haven't been in the mall in so long, like doing a video. This is just kind of interesting being here. I want you to subscribe so you can follow me and everything that I'm doing. Share this with anyone who you feel is going to help. There's plenty of people around the world right now who are in winter. <laughs> plenty of guys you probably know who are in winter are like, fuck, I don't want to go out. Give this to them. Because there's something special about it. Something very special about winter. I have a free meet to bedroom series. Everything from what to do with an approach all the way to how do I take her upstairs? 30 minutes of me just telling you bit by bit. Click the description, the link in the description box. And like I always say. Who you are is valuable for that what you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I'll talk to you on Monday.